friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're starting part 10 in a 12 part reading vlog series that I'm doing and it's my flashback reading vlog series. If you happen to have missed, I've posted nine other videos this month exactly like this. Basically, again, in case this is the first one you're watching, you need to go back and watch the other ones because I explained it in my first one, but I am filming reading vlogs every single month throughout 2020 and just reading different things. Sometimes they have themes, sometimes they don't. This one does not have a theme other than it is going to be a true weekend reading vlog. I am reading is Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. I'm so excited about this this book. I started it last night. I also did some organizing of my bookshelf last night. pages last night before bed. I am currently on chapter three, so right at the beginning still, and I'm just really looking forward to getting to this one. I bought it a few months ago. Like, I want to say during the summer I bought it. I think I got my copy at Target. I think that's where they have the the Reese's Book Club things from. But anyway, yeah, I think I picked this up at Target. Um, and I'm just really excited to continue in this story. Um, I do have a couple of things going on today because it's still like work time. <laughs> later and I man the day just got away from me I did manage to do a couple of things I was a little bit productive but I definitely did not get as much reading done as I wanted to but I am enjoying this tea so much this is the magic potion Halloween blend from David's tea and it is so good it has let's see Currants, apples, rose hips, butterfly pea flowers, raspberry, natural, kiwi, blackberry, bilberry flavorings, blackberries, and stevia extract in it. And it's like an herbal blend. And what it is, is like this dark purpley blue color but when you add lemon in it it changes color and it's just so good so literally I just steep my tea and do a wedge of lemon and squeeze the lemon juice in there and no sweetener nothing else it's so good so I'm still on my David's tea kick um, I probably will be for the rest of 2020 I'm to show you that and I wanted to give you a quick reading update even though I didn't read much, I did manage to read more. I am currently on page 52, so I read about 20 more pages, and I'm still really enjoying the story. Um, I'm getting to know the characters and kind of like their motivations for doing things, and 
it's well written i'm enjoying it i'm hoping to read more tonight and then obviously get a big chunk done tomorrow hello friends good morning it is a saturday morning and i'm getting a very slow start to the day i've been dealing with some insomnia like i would say for the last month um just weird sleeping schedule up at weird hours naps and sleeping at weird hours so it's just kind of thrown off everything and reading update time I didn't manage to read too much I made it to chapter six so I finished part one I didn't realize that this was going to be told in parts but I finished part one I read three more ch or I read four chapters because I only read two chapters previous to that but yeah I'm really still enjoying it I like that it seems like the characters are going to weave themselves together like the stories or them how they know each other is going to overlap and stuff like that um I'm trying to keep this as spoiler free as possible so I don't really think I can tell you anything other than I really do I don't like you know the characters or whatever but I like their story I like how they're being built I don't know too much about any of them you're just getting pieces here and there and you're like it's weaving itself together um <laughs> healthy chunk now I am 66% of the way I am on chapter 20 and I'll probably finish this bit up tomorrow my morning at my mother-in-law's house we also went to the grocery store I got some pre-packaged Panera broccoli cheddar soup that's what I'm having for lunch it's heating up in the microwave as we speak and I'm going to hop in front of my computer and work on a blog post that I started this morning and then after that I will probably read and take a nap because that sounds really good finished such a fun age by Kylie Reed and I really 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 liked this book I'm gonna rate it four out of five stars um I can't give it a five so there's that but I really really liked it and some of the conversations that Amira had with her friends in here and like being inside her head and being able to kind of process things alongside her like thank goodness for her friends and just their support and everything I think I said this before but there was nothing like super action-packed happening in the beginning when she was in the grocery store it was a little bit like high intensity but then it just relaxed into the story about um amira working for a family um as a babysitter and also the guy that she met at the grocery store that night had different ideas of what was best for amira 
and you know Amira's a strong young woman she's educated she has a good support system around her like let the girl make her own decisions type thing and I think if she knew the whole truth about everything from the beginning she would have been able to arrive to the conclusion sooner um, but I'm kind of glad that we got to see her go through that. I mean, thank goodness this is a fictional story, but at the same time, I'm sure things like this happen all of the time. Um, I think as a white woman reading this, it was quite eye-opening and refreshing, and I feel a little bit more educated <laughs> after reading this. Um, yeah, so I really, really liked it. The only part I didn't like is at the end, the last chapter of the book, which was only like, I mean, a little bit, but it was such like a quick passage of time, um, which I appreciated, but I wish it would have just been like the story could have ended and then there have been a solid epilogue. But I believe this is her debut. That's kind of what the story is, is about race and class. And I don't know, I, I liked the ending, but that rush of time at the end was just a little too messy for me. But four out of five stars, highly recommend if you like contemporary stories and you're looking to dive into race and class. Next up, I'm going to be picking up another book I've been really excited for. I'm going to pick up Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. Seductive gothic infused debut of literary suspense set within a secluded elite university and following a dangerously curious rebellious undergraduate who undercovers who uncovers a shocking secret about an elusive circle of students and the dark truth behind her school's promise of prestige. Wow, I am so excited about this. I got this back in June, like the middle of June, um, and I'm just so excited. So yeah, I'm gonna be reading this next. Hi friends, it is Monday, and I wanted to give you a reading update. This is gonna be the last day of this flashback reading vlog, and I'm currently reading Catherine House by Elizabeth thomas and this is her debut and i started it last night i read a chapter it was a fairly long chapter it was 39 pages so yeah i definitely got a good sense of the writing i like the writing i don't necessarily know exactly what's going on or how the plot is going to play out or which characters i like or anything like that yet i'm only a chapter in but i'm really enjoying it and it just seems like one of those like odd weird books that you're not going to really understand everything that's going on and that's perfect if you're looking for a dark academia <laughs> recommendation so i think i'm reading this at the perfect time let me know if you've read this book and what you think about this because i definitely will not finish this book today i'm not feeling the best today i'm probably going to go back in bed right now and read some more of this reminder this is the 10th part in a 12 part series here on my channel this month so if you liked this video definitely go and check the other videos that you may have missed out I will have two more for you I will have November and December flashback reading vlogs as well but yeah I have the worst cramps so I'm gonna go lay down and read as always I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video I hope you're having a lovely day or night and I'll see you guys again in my next video bye